Hey guys, Elvis here with another video and today I'm going to be doing something slightly different. I actually have done this before, uh, like a year ago I was talking about 5 things I hated about Koji Ghosts but in this video I'm going to be talking about 5 things I like about Advanced Warfare. And before I get into the topic, I just want to mention the gameplay. It's probably one of my best gameplays yet. So I go on a 26 gun streak and over 30 kill streak. And this is right after prestiging. I think second game after prestiging. So if this gameplay doesn't deserve a like, I don't know what it does to be quite honest with you. But enough with that. Like, let's get right into the topic. And the first thing, and this is not you know like from the t from first to last. It's completely random order. Just keep that in mind. So first thing in my on my list is the exosuit. Of course, the thing is amazing, and plus they offer you the the option to play with it and without it. Obviously, most people play with it, but you know people that dislike it, they all can also play without it, which is great. They give you options, and like the thing, the, the thing overall is amazing. The way it allows you to move around the map. Uh, this is definitely something that Call of Duty needed for a very long time. The, the franchise started to die out for some people, especially after Ghosts. Don't even mention that. Uh, but this is definitely something fresh and everybody likes it. And I'm, I'm just really, really glad they added it to the game. And first I was annoyed that Sledgehammer, you know, um, made this get made a game because I wanted to see zombies this year. Um, but th I definitely don't. I, d I definitely really, really like it and it's worth it. I can wait for zombies one more year, but this is something I really wanted to play and it's definitely su successful. It's definitely a successful game because of the exosuit. Uh, number two is the character customization. Uh, we've seen something like this in Ghost, but this year it's something crazy. Even like I've, I've never seen anything like this before in a Call of Duty game, and I love it. I love the character customization. You know, when I go into games, I can definitely tell who I'm killing because I can recognize their unique unique outfit or whatnot. And you know, I, obviously, who doesn't want to look like a badass when they kill somebody? Everyone does. And then the fact is, you can go in the, in the lobby and see it, like the little things that people have on them. Like all the, the outfits, the helmets, the you know the the pants, the shoes, everything. Um, it's just so detailed, and there's so much to to earn from uh, supply drops and from challenges. It's crazy, and it's addicting in some ways because people want to get that full outfit of you know a certain certain gear, and it is really really cool. And I like the way they they made that in the game because you know some sometimes you put something that's in the game and it can kind of fail. It doesn't have that effect on it. Um, but they literally they they nailed it. They nailed it with the customization. So that's my second thing. The third thing are the maps. Finally, there are probably only one or two maps that I don't really prefer playing on. But that's that's it. That's I don't prefer playing on them. But I don't hate them. Unlike in Ghosts, I hated probably mo most of the maps. Like I think three or four maps I kind of like. The rest of them were shit. In this game, the maps are perfect. I love them, especially Solar, the map I'm playing on right now. This is probably one of my top five maps. I really, really enjoy playing on the maps in, on Advanced Warfare. They, again, Sledgehammer, they're amazing. They do everything right and they definitely listen to feedback and they know what they're doing. So respect for them, you know, to, for making such great maps. And uh, like, l let me know in the comment section if you like the maps or, you, I mean, let me know for anything. If you dis disagree with me or, if you agree with me because I really want to know your own opinions as well but the maps I think are perfect you couldn't you, you could have done better I think maybe not maybe something similar to Nuketown or Dome would have would have smashed it completely um, but we don't have anything like that but it's cool no one needs it I mean it would be perfect to have one but it's not necessary at all the maps are perfect in this game um, next thing are the game modes uh, the game modes are definitely a good thing because all the fan favorite game modes are back like uh, S like SND obviously um, but in Ghost it wasn't even there first it was search and rescue but they removed it I mean they kept it and they put SND back on like capture the flag hardpoint one of my favorite game modes in Black Ops 2 all those game modes are just back and you can clearly tell how Sledge Sledgehammer were listening to their fans because everyone wanted it everyone wanted it back and it's 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 back and plus game modes like uh, momentum and I don't remember the other game modes but they're definitely a lot of fun I've played them all and they're a blast the game modes are definitely good they're not like game modes you know you want to try a couple times and you don't want to play them again the definitely game modes you will go back and again and again and again to play with your friends or even by yourself it's a lot of fun as you can see I hit my 30 kill streak right here but it's not my gun streak because I got a lot of kills with my bombing run but continuing to one last thing on my list is the DNA bomb this is the most challenging thing I've ever seen in Koji game and I love it 
I really, really can't wait to actually get one. As you can see in this game, I got really close and my highest streak is 29. So it's one kill off the DNA bomb. But don't worry, I'll get it real soon for you guys. I'm putting it on YouTube. Um, but I like the way they added it. Like this game feels just like Black Ops 2 and plus the DNA bomb. Like Black Ops 2 didn't have it in, the, in, in like any type of nuke in the game. This game does. Like this game, ha this game had everything you would ever want. And DNA bomb just... It's just a t you know the icing of the cake. I really really like the fact that there is something that's so difficult to you know to try to get. It it's really it, it, like it reach. I don't even how, I don't know how to explain it. It just reaches all my standards. But that's it. That's all. I'm actually running out of gameplay here. That's pretty much it for this video. Let me know what you thought. You know, let me know of your thoughts and you know, did you agree with me? Did you disagree? Have you got anything anything else to mention? But that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.